obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate a water wheel on which the water flows and causes it to rotate. The water wheel is an example of Pelton turbines. Most water wheels are mounted vertically on a horizontal axis and can also be mounted horizontally on a vertical shaft. The wheels are perpendicular to certain parts of the turbine due to reduced friction force and increased nozzle thrust. The other part of the turbine is out of the water, therefore the wheels are in two different phases of water and the air, rotating around its axis. In this project, the rotation of a water turbine is simulated. As was explained in previous slides, the water flow enters the computational domain and passes from the turbine blades which causes the turbine blades to rotate. The geometry of turbine is designed by SOLIDWORKS software and divided into a smaller section to improve the geometry and mesh of the turbine. The geometry is divided into two general sections of rotary and stationary section. The rotor part consists of a turbine and the cylinder that is located around the turbine, and the stationary part actually surrounds the rotatory cylinder. ICEM software was used to generate the mesh. The rotor section is first mesh and has unstructured type of mesh. The structured mesh is used for the stationary zone. Structured mesh causes the number of mesh to decrease and the quality of mesh to be very high. After meshing the two parts separately by two different methods, the two parts are coupled together so that the geometry is fully meshed. By clicking on display button, a new window will appear which you can see different part, parts of your geometry. Now in the appear window which shows you the names of the different parts of your geometry, you can click and select each part and then click on display uh, so that the software will show you that part. In order to define an algorithm to solve the fluid flow, uh, we double click on the viscous button and a new window will appear. In the appear window you can see that RNG K epsilon model is activated. Uh, also, uh, we have chosen RNG K epsilon over the standard form uh, because the RNG is more accurate and uh, gives us better results than the standard format of K epsilon. Now, as was mentioned in previous slides about adding a new material, uh, you just have to right click on the fluid and then uh, click on new. A, vin a new window will appear in which uh, you can add a new material. Uh, by just changing the properties yourself or you can uh, either ch uh, select a new material from Fluent Database. Now under the multi-phase tab you can see that the open channel setting is activated in order to simulate the open channel conditions. In the appear window against the previous slides you can see that the wall motion defined for its boundary is set to be moving ball. We may also change the under relaxation factor. These factors may be between 0 and 1. Based on the simulation and the project we are doing, we may change this under relaxation factor. But remember that the values set in here are the recommended values for the pro project, and we highly recommend you to not change these values. Now, by clicking on the first report, which is a momentum report, you can see that the software will automatically calculate the momentum of phases on zones and surfaces like leading edge and water wheel. Uh, actually, you can add this uh, report by clicking on new and then going on to the first report and then clicking on momentum report. The second report, which is a uh, area weighted average uh, with the field variable of velocity magnitude, uh, which calculates the average velocity on the outlet boundary. In order to extract a 2D uh, contours of velocity and uh, fraction of phases, we just have to first define a new plane. For doing that, by right clicking on surface and clicking on new and then clicking on plane, uh, you can see that a new window will appear. In the appear window, under the method section, we click on xy plane and then set the value of z to be 0, uh, which causes this plane to be in the middle section of the geometry.
In the presented contour, you can easily see the increased pressure on the tip of the blades uh, where the water flow touches the turbine. Now, in order to see a different contour, for example, uh, to see the volume fraction of water, we just have to change the contours of uh, section into phases, and then on the phases section, click on water. After that, just like the previous slide, uh, under the surface section, just have to click on plane 17, and then again, click on Saver Display button. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at Hope you enjoy.